hello and welcome to another episode of the podcast named talking of minds today we will be talking about another cognitive bias so what if i ask you whether there are more english words which start with the letter k or are there more words with k as the third letter in it the question is whether there are more english wo- english words which start with the letter k or whether they are you know whether there are more words with k as the third letter this was a question asked by dr daniel kahneman and his uh, uh, friend amos tversky in their one of the famous experiments during the 1970s most participants and most likely me and you too would have said that there are more words with k as the first letter than words with k as the third letter it it is kind of obvious because if you if we try to make an estimate by recalling the words that we know you know we may easily recall many words like keep kite knowledge kitten canine kayak and so on whereas words with uh, you know k as a third letter like fake or make or acknowledge may not come easily so as easily to our minds and we would likely conclude that you know there are more words which start with k but in fact the english language has more words which have k as the third letter than words that start with k now this tendency is called availability heuristic so availability heuristic also called availability bias is our natural tendency to assign greater value to information that is already or readily available to us you know regardless of its validity accuracy or appropriateness and you know and the tendency to make decisions based on this readily available information so this is what the availability heuristic is and availability heuristic is kind of a mental shortcut uh, heuristics are in general mental shortcuts that we use to conserve energy that is used for the processing pro- you know uh, activity of our brain uh, many times these heuristics can help us get uh, answers to many questions but they can lead us uh, astray as well now uh, you know we may conclude or many people may conclude that the risk of death by aeroplane crash is uh, more than that by road accidents or you know if we think of the the two kinds of accidents most of us are more afraid of of an aeroplane crash than a road accident whereas more people die on road accidents uh, world over Uh, consistently but yet we are not as afraid as uh, you know as afraid to uh, to travel on the road than many of us are afraid uh, to take a plane or for that matter many of us are afraid of vegetables or food that can cause cancer whereas most of us now are not afraid of uh, carbohydrates like you know the rice that we eat or the cake or the jalebi that we eat which can cause diabetes which can cause much more damage you know or or, or which is much more prevalent than cancer in in any population if we take the the actual numbers that is how uh, availability heuristic works you know there are certain kinds of information that come up you know come into our memory easily than other kinds of information and we'll talk about that too and uh, it is it is almost certain now that we are more prone to fall uh, for this availability heuristic uh, in certain conditions such as when we are happy or when we are trying to multitask or when we are holding a position of power and so on on in all these conditions we are more at risk of committing mistakes because of availability heuristic and uh, not only about these kind of decisions you know availability heuristic can have a strong influence on our economic decisions or financial decisions such as trading investment or purchase of a life insurance and so on even professional investors no not lay persons like you or me even professional investors have been found to fall prey to availability heuristic when they tend to invest in a stock just because the stock uh, you know the company was in the news for some reason not necessarily for a positive reason even for a negative reason but since a company's name is in the news many people will uh, disproportionately uh, you know tend to buy shares of that uh, 
uh, you know that 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 particular uh, stock and there is a very famous example of this kind of uh, behavior in uh, in the in the uh, investment world which is called the Anne Hathaway effect uh, which, which was shown that you know during 2008 to 2010 and 12 etc you know during that period it was it was seen that uh, the share prices of Berkshire Hathaway which is a company you know the, the share price of Berkshire Hathaway uh, would increase without any other reason uh, just because you know uh, there was an Anne Hathaway movie release or Anne Hathaway would be uh, you know in news for some reason so whenever Anne Hathaway is in the news the share price of Berkshire Hathaway would increase uh, and without any other apparent reason and even this was uh, you know supposed to be or, or thought to be caused by uh, the same availability heuristic which which show you know which caused people to uh, you know buy more sh shares of this particular company and uh, in 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 our world you know the, the social media bubbles that we all uh, are part of can have a very important role in in uh, you know, in aiding this availability heuristic in in the way it, it uh, you know it can affect our decisions because you know the the very design of social media is to create bubbles where uh, you know the a particular kind of information or a news or an attitude is amplified so that we get a feeling we get a we get a very happy or or or, or a soothing feeling of being you know among people who have the same opinion as ourselves and uh another example would be of of uh, you know uh, biased or or uh, you know uh, you know news coverages of events such as uh, you know abductions of children or crimes being committed by migrant populations etc which even though such such uh, you know uh, such acts or such uh, instances are very rare in actual numbers you know we can get an inf you know an impression that they are on the rise or we may conclude that you no know, these kinds of uh, you know crimes are happening all the time because these kinds of you know crimes or the, these incidents have a very particular uh, you know uh, property of being uh, you know exciting or 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 you know, they catch our senses and that way we fall prey to them and uh, you know it is said that or, or it has been shown that the information that comes to our mind very easily or or you know which are easy to recall have certain uh, certain properties for example information that is recent can be recalled more easily than uh, you know more older information information that is frequent or information that comes to our senses frequently can have easy recall than others information that is of an extreme nature you know uh, for example a plane a plane crash uh, you know in comparison to a road accident so a plane crash is more extreme event so any kind of extreme events can can pop up in our memory easily than others any kind of uh, vivid information you know this vivid information which has uh, an emotional component to it you know it can uh, in a kind of information that can influence our emotions can have uh, you know can, can pop up to our memory very easily and information which is negative in nature also can come uh, you know very easily to our memory than information which has a, is of a positive character so these are the kind of information that can you know pop up into our memory very easily and influence our decisions uh, by uh, making us feel that that these information are more important than the others so that is how or that is that is why uh, availability heuristic works with us and how can we uh, you know how can we uh, counter the effects of availability heuristic so one way is to be aware of of availability heuristic we have to be aware that you know many many first impressions that we have many decisions that we take can be uh, influenced by availability heuristic especially when such information or when such decisions are taken when we are happy when we are trying to be multitasking or when we are at uh, you know at a at a more powerful uh, position when 
and where our decisions may have bigger impacts in all such conditions we have to double check that our information is based or our decisions are based on facts or figures or whatever available data is there rather than just relying on our senses or on our memory and uh, these are certain things that we can do to uh, counteract the, the effect of availability heuristic and as i already said you know uh, heuristics are not things that have to be avoided altogether heuristics do have a function but in our world where our information processing has changed a lot because of uh, you know uh, because of information overload and because of uh, internet based social media and the post truth society that we live in it is always nice to know about such heuristics and be aware of them so that we can try and make less errors as possible so that's about availability heuristic thank you for listening